Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So this is another very, very subtle Valentine set. My clients are loving the Valentines, but obviously we're still in January, so they don't want to be like crazy over the top Valentine. So we're just doing it in small little subtle hints of Valentines. So this one is a nail bed friend. Ugh. This one is a French nail, and I am currently doing the nail bed. Yeah, I'm just clearly not with it this morning. And I'm just using my brush to shape that. And yeah, it's looking cute. I'm pretty certain I used Pinkbell cover for the nail bed. I love pink bell cover. I would probably say pink bell cover is my absolute go-to. I find it is great for most skin tones. It's extremely easy to use and it's just a beautiful colour. Um, obviously, I love nearly all... Well, I do. I love all of the Glitter Bell's car powders. But I think pink bell is definitely the one I generally go, go to. So on this one... I'm doing like a like a Frenchy marble type thing. So I'm using soft white, which is, it's like you've taken a little bit of your white powder and mixed it with clear. It's very sheer and beautiful. And then I'm popping, so I'm using three beads, the soft white and then some clear and then a tiny little bit of snowdrops white and then I'm sort of marbling them together. And then I added two little tiny, like clear pearlescent hearts. And then this nail is just all soft white. And I'm just building the colour up because I didn't, I, I don't want it to be too thick because I was put, I'm about to put quite a few of these little hearts on this nail. So I was just building it up slowly until I got to a point where it was covered enough that I could put the hearts on but with it being quite um a translucent colour to get a full block colour you have to well I just build the whole nail with it normally but because I was wanting to put these little hearts on you've got to keep it quite thin so that you don't end up cutting into the hearts when you're filing so as you can see I'm sticking these little hearts to the nail with my crystal picker upper onto the wet acrylic these little hearts i'm pretty certain were from ebay and i think i just typed in nail art hearts and so many different little bits of nail art come up and they'll have been really cheap maybe one pound fifty two pound obviously i'm uk um i don't know how much that is in in your country but i'm pretty sure most ebay well, no matter what country you're from will sell these type of things but how cute are they they're just adorable and then i'm coming in again with the pink bell cover and doing an ombre over the bit that i'd already done again keep it nice and thin because you need to cap because when it comes to it you don't want to be filing away the blend that you've created and then on this one I'm doing I think the same as the pink the pinky finger really pretty marble using those so it's soft white clear what's well, clear is uh glass slippers and oh no this one is a full marble by the looks of it sorry I did these on Saturday, we're only on Monday, and I, I can't even remember what I did, <laughs> I've got some serious issues, I'm doing my nails today, I was supposed to do them yesterday, but we went on this, um, went on a dog walk, and my husband was like, uh, we're not going to be long, because I want to watch the football this afternoon, and we were making a roast dinner, so we went on this dog walk, we went and met some of my family members, and my husband was like, oh, you know, we've got this, uh, I want, there's this place I want to go, I was like, yeah, cool, anyway, Three hours later, covered in mud, hiked up what I can only describe as an actual mountain. Um, and I got home. And the last thing I wanted to do was my nails. <laughs> it was traumatic. I mean, it was fun when we when we look back on it now. I mean, we were actually covered in mud. We ended up like 
wading through this just boggy horrible <laughs> it was just it was a mission um so I didn't actually get to do my nails yesterday so I will be doing them today at some point so again please excuse them they are hideous I haven't actually had a fresh set on since the beginning of December I did them for my wedding reception and I've just been infilling them since so they're looking really grubby and yeah this one is the same as the pinky and I just keep adding these little hearts here and there I just think they're really cute so I just keep adding them where just tiny little ones every now and then as you can see, it's much easier to see on the thumb because there's a lot more space, but you can see what I'm doing there. And then I'm just adding a little bit of clear there so I can add the hearts using my crystal picker-upper. Look how cute they are. And I'm just coming in with my file and filing this nail bed. And then dusting away. And then coming in with my white and creating a French nail. I always find this time of year, people love French nails. Ombre, normal French, any type of nails like that, because you're at a really awkward stage of the year. We're not, obviously we've just come out of Christmas, everyone had wild nails for Christmas and New Year. And then it's not quite spring, so people aren't wanting pastels, people aren't really wanting any dark nails anymore, so they just seem to go for this this type of thing, which is fine. I just seem to do a lot at this time of year. So just coming over this this heart nail and just sort of tying it in and making it look a bit marbly. So I'm just adding a little bit of the soft white over and then a tiniest amount of snowdrop white. Just like dabbing it in to make it look like I've marbled over the top of it. And then I'm coming in with, ooh, I think it is called a door and it is one of the unbelievable gels. And I'm doing that straight onto the acrylic before I cap. Uh, I'm pretty like, I'm pretty certain it ain't going to make any difference to the quality of the nail because there's, it's the tiniest, tiniest amount. I don't know how they'd fare. I've seen other na nail techs do it where they've painted the gel on and then capped in clear and to be fair I don't think they have a bad result but yeah I've never done that myself so I have capped off camera and added the bit round the French which I did think I'd recorded but apparently I hadn't uh, and now I'm coming in with my no wipe top cut so I have capped all of these nails off camera for the strength and the structure in glass slippers just so everybody knows, because I've had a few comments recently. I choose not to film that because it, it's a nightmare filming, I won't lie. Having the camera in front of my face while I'm doing nails is not easy. So the second I can get it out, out of the way, I, I will do that. And secondly, I'm here to show design, not how to do nails. I'm not a teacher. I'm not here to teach. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this design set and I will be back very soon with a swatch video, hopefully tomorrow, the day after. So I will see you soon. Bye.